Hey guys, it's Jeff, and if you have or are thinking about getting the Samsung Galaxy S8, these are the first things I recommend doing when setting up your device. If you've already set up your device, maybe you've missed out on some of these, so stick around because you might just want to see what you can do. So first things first, when you get your S8, you probably want to see that always on feature. That displays the time and notifications while your device is locked. To get this feature enabled, all you have to do is swipe down from the top here, and now you can see there's a bunch of quick actions for your settings. Swipe over to the second page on the right, and you'll see an option for the always on display. Make sure that is illuminated with blue, and that means your device is currently showing the always on display when locked. If you want to take one step further and customize what you want to see on the always on display, you can hold down on that setting and the settings app will open to the always on display page. Here you can change the clock style to your liking and you should be all set from there. Now this next change is one that I just had to make. The Galaxy S8 comes with a fantastic screen and support for a very high resolution. But for some odd reason, Samsung didn't make the highest resolution the default setting. So to change that, we're going to go into the settings app. Head down to display and then we'll go to the screen resolution tab. There's three options from the HD plus to the WQHD plus being the lowest and the highest respectively. Samsung automatically puts you in the middle of the two, but since this phone is amazing, I wanted to bump up the resolution to the highest possible. You can choose what you like, but personally, I don't think I'd ever go lower than the full HD setting. Okay, so we got the always on display turned on, and also the screen resolution sorted out. What's next? Well, you might have noticed that the bottom navigation bar comes automatically with this setup here. Now, there's a lot of people that like it this way, but other like it switched around. No matter which way you like it, the order can always be changed, so let's show you how you can do that. Head over to the settings app and go back to the display menu. Scroll down to the navigation bar and press on that option to get this page here. Now, as you can see here, you have a ton of options with the navigation bar. But if you want to change the order of the buttons, select this button layout here. So as you can see, you can easily change the order to how you like it, and while you're at it, you can change some other settings on your way out. So let's move on to protecting your device. Obviously with the S8, you have a lot of options as far as security goes. So let's set up two methods of protection so that your device is properly secured. To do this, we need to go back to, you guessed it, the settings app. In the settings app, head down to the lock screen and security tab, and there you'll see all of your security options. Before you do anything, you'll need to set up a pin number, so go ahead and set that up, and once you're done, come back to this page. We'll do the fingerprint scanner, which is really simple, and of course, is a very secure option. Just go throughout the steps to set up that fingerprint and make sure to follow the on-screen directions for the best results. After that setup, you can choose some other methods as well, but I won't go over each and every one. I will tell you though that the only other option that I would recommend is the iris scanning. Face detection doesn't seem to work all too well, so iris scanning seems to be the way to go. It's fast and is extremely accurate, so I would definitely recommend that setting to everyone. Okay, so we've got four things for you to do. Let's end it with a fifth option. One thing that you'll notice on your screen is this edge menu. Now, I've got mine set up already, but it's really easy to manage. If you want to add an app to this page, just click on the plus button and a menu will pop up allowing you to select an app to place in your Edge page. Back on the Edge menu, you can rearrange the apps to how you like them. And if you by chance want to get rid of one, all you have to do is start dragging one and there will be a trash can at the top right hand corner where you can drag it into and get rid of that app. Now the apps isn't the only thing within this menu. You can have several pages that include weather, screenshot assist, reminders, and more. So to add, subtract, or rearrange these pages, just click on the settings icon at the bottom which will bring you to the edge menu. From here you can change a whole lot with the edge menu and also download different edge pages from the Galaxy App Store. 
So those are just five things that I did when setting up my Galaxy S8. If you did something different or even did something similar while setting up your device, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you did. I love to read your comments so you can keep them coming and I'll do my best to respond to as many of them as I can. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends who might be interested, and subscribe to see some more upcoming content. Also, if you want to get notifications every time I upload a video, make sure to hit that bell button and you'll get updates as soon as I upload some content. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one.